y'all, man. It's good to be back. Hey, um, let's just jump straight into this. I got a mid fade with a shape up on top. As you can see, we already picked out his hair. So when you get a client that needs the hair shaped up, it's got to be fully picked out in order to get the best shape that you possibly can give. So as you see right now, I'm just creating um, my first guidelining scene with the size is gonna be on top. And I go straight in and make sure I even out the whole top. And I'm just fast forwarding this part for y'all. A quick tip. When you're shaping up, make sure that you are using your mirror and looking back to make sure the shape is even on both sides. So what I'm doing is constantly looking at the mirror in between the cut. I just pulled out the foam to uh, give the top a little bit of curls. And I had just threw my curl sponge away so I had to kick it old school and run it with my fingers. And all I'm doing is doing the same motion that I would have been doing with the foam in a clockwise uh, motion. And look, you can't really even tell. <laughs> so I got the comb. I'm combing out the hair, getting it prepped for my fade. And I take my Babyliss FX trimmers and create my first guideline. I'm making it right there, right under his eyebrow. And as you see, I'm getting behind his ear. And right when I get behind the ear, I make it drop. Look, take it straight down. Make sure my guideline is real even, real straight. Connected on the same peak that I did on the other side, right under the eyebrow. And I connect it to the back. So now I got my no guard completely open. And I'm going to create my first section. Remember when doing this section, you want to keep it about an inch thick. And make sure that it's even from the front all the way to, uh, to the back. Just going back and forth. Combing, brushing while I go up with the, with the clipper. Now I got the one guard on there and it's completely open. Same thing, I'm taking it about an inch up, making sure my sections are even, clean, from the front to the back. As you see, I'm using my comb to comb down the hair because he got curly hair. So when you go up with the clipper, the hair tends to curl up. Don't get intimidated when this happens. Just make sure you keep that comb in your left hand. Comb down. Comb one, brush one. Comb one, cut one. So I'm going in. I got the one on. No, I got the... Um, yeah, sorry about that. I got the one and a half guard on. I'm going up basically taking down the bulk and this is going to blend the fade into what he has on top. All I'm looking for right here is the dark spots come in. You see a couple dark spots and I'm attacking those. My client's doing a whole lot of moving, but yeah, we're getting them right. So now I flip the, the guard over and I'm combing down into the fade. And what this is doing is just connecting the top into the fade. And the two guard will be the last step and you have completed all of your sections, then you can go back in 
and create um start taking out those lines so i have the one guard on completely closed and i'm taking out that middle line right now Right here I have the no guard completely closed and this section you want to treat it in fours so right now I'm doing my first notch taking out that bottom line and you got to be careful when you have no guard on there because you take it up too much and you're gonna run into a problem and having to take the fade up so anytime you want to take that line a little higher you just open up the notch so now I have it halfway and I'm using only the corners. This is what I call the detail work. So I'm cornering the clipper, looking for any dark spots, and just flicking them out. Got it completely open. Now I have the half guard on, completely closed. And this should connect from the half to the one and a half smoothly. So you make sure you play with that lever, go from closed to half, only using your corners, and blend that right into that one and a half. got to remember a lot of the times that you're working on a drop fade the back of the head will be the hardest part to do you got to remember that every client has that occipital bone back there so it tends to show a shadow so where you would have used a, a one guard you might have to use a half on the back of the head just to make it look a little smoother so don't be afraid to put a smaller guard on there and take them uh, dark spots out Now I got my one guard on, and I'm really not taking the fade higher at all. All I'm doing is looking at those dark spots, blending them in, and now your fade should be done. So I take my gold FX trimmer by Babilis. Shout out to Babilis. This is a banger right here. This blade is just unbelievable, man. This It does not get hot. I swapped it out for the graphite blade and it keeps the cool blade the whole time so when you go in on kids around their neck you won't get them moving complaining about the blade being hot and it just works wonders man so i'm gonna go on to the right side of the head and i'm gonna fast forward this part for y'all but just keep the same steps that you did on the left side and use your mirror to make sure you keeping the both sides of the fade completely even and then we'll get to the lineup. But y'all keep watching, man. All right. So now that we have reached the lineup, the biggest part of the haircut. You can have a clean fade, but if you mess up the lineup, your client is not coming back. So please pay attention and focus on the lineup. So with the preparation of this, I made sure I cut the lineup down to about a one, spray some spritz, that way it holds the hairline, and I started this lineup in the middle. And that is gonna be my first guideline. And then I broke off to the left, and I created that box. And when you create the C cup to connect it, you're only using a couple of the teeth in order to curve it in. You don't wanna to push too hard here, especially if you have some trimmers that are adjusted, like these Babilis ones, I did adjust them, zero gap them, 
so I have to be very careful when using the corners. But if once you master your trimmer, you don't have to zero gap it, but once you understand your trimmer, any curve or C cup that you do will come out super crisp if you prep the hairline correctly. So as you see, I'm taking my comb and I'm taking some of the hair down on that right side. And all I was doing was making sure that the hairline is even all across. I don't want some parts to be bulky and others to be light. So I bent, blended that in and I did the same thing. I'm trying to create that box. And what I do when I get to the corner of it, I only use those three teeth and I put it in and I scrape it out. You don't want to use, um, you don't want to use too much pressure, like I said. And now that my hairline is done with the gold F, I mean, uh, with the Babilis FX trimmer, I go back, I added some Tune 45 shaving gel shout out to tune 45 that is the only shaving gel i do use um it's real good for the skin it won't irritate the client and uh, it's clear so that's a plus you can see exactly what you're doing all i'm doing is um enhancing that line and going back and cleaning up what the trimmer could not get I'm not saying that the trimmer did not get all the hair because it is a hitter but all i'm doing is uh, perfecting the hairline and just like that you see a beautiful mid drop fade with the curls on top you can see his hair is back is hydrated the fade is connecting and flowing with the hair flawlessly and just like that man another banger I appreciate